Hi. Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about AUM, that is asset under management. So let's start with it. The first thing that I'm going to tell you is what is AUM? Then what is the definition of asset under management? Assets under management, AUM, is the total market value of the investments that a person or entity manages on behalf of clients. In the calculation of AUM, some financial institutions include bank deposits, mutual funds, and cash in their calculations, whereas other institutions limit it to funds under discretionary management, where the investors assign authority to the company to trade on his behalf. So basically, AUM refers to how much money a hedge fund or financial institution is managing for their clients. AUM is the sum of the market value of all the investments managed by a fund or family of funds, a venture capital firm, brokerage company, or an individual registered as an investment advisor or a portfolio management. So we can take an example here as well that if an investor has $50,000 invested in a mutual fund, then those funds become part of total AUM, that is the pool of funds. The manager, that means the institution in which that investor has invested that money, can buy and sell shares following the fund's investment objective using all of the invested funds without obtaining any additional special permissions. So this is the main meaning of AUM. That is, AUM is also called funds under management. It is the total market value of, a sec of the securities of a financial institution that they manage or own on a behalf of a client. That is the client that am the amount that clients invest in a, in a financial institution such as bank or in mutual fund and how they manage that in that amount. That is, they, they invest, the institution can invest that amount in the mutual funds in the share or they can hedge funds so basically how they manage that funds and the total market value of that securities that a financial institution has invested in behalf of the client is asset under management the next thing that we are going to talk about is the example so let's take the example of a mutual fund with a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds and a significant cash position Let's suppose that a mutual fund's portfolio consists of $1.5 billion in stocks, $2 billion in government bonds, $1.5 billion in corporate bonds, and $1 billion in cash. So the total value of the fund's asset under management will be $6 billion. That is, addition of all the, of all the investment that the institution has made in stocks, government bonds, corporate bonds, and cash. And that total is $6 billion. Just like I have just told you, that the amount that investor invests in a financial institution. And then they use that amount to invest in various securities to make their portfolio then the total capital market value of that securities or that investment that institution have made is known as the AUM that is asset under management so now the next thing that we are going to talk about is why assets under management are calculated or why it is important so Firm management will monitor AUM as it relates to investment strategy and investor product flows in determining the strength of the company. Investment companies also use assets under management as a marketing tool to attract new investors. AUM can help investors to get an indication of the size of a company's operations relative to its competitors. AUM may also be an important consideration for the calculation of the fees. So the basic importance of why asset under management is calculated is because it can relate to the investment strategy and the investor product flow. It determines the strength of the company. Even it gives a competitive edge to the companies. It determines the size of the company. It is an indication of the size of the company's operation. And it can be used as an attractive marketing tool for the new or the, to attract the new customers. There are other reasons also like the total value of AOM is the measure of the size of a financial institution and a key performance indicator of success. A larger AOM generally translates into larger revenue in the form of management fees.
the value of asset under management may determine whether an institution must com compile with specific regulations or not so this is the these are the basic reasons the, they are very sim simple that it determines the size of a financial institution it is also an indication of their performance it helps to it helps to determine the strength of the company and to attract the new customers as well so the next thing that we are going to talk about is how aom changes over time the amount of assets under management changes due to various reasons and the reasons are following the first one is inflows and outflows of funds so let's take an example to understand to understand this investors in a mutual fund may increase or reduce the size of their investment by buying additional shares in in the fund or by selling the ones they already own which will change the total size of the fund's aum we have seen that the aum is the total market share of the funds that has been invested on the behalf of the investors or the client so if an investors if an investor increase the size of the investment that is by adding more shares or by selling some shares that he already has then the total size of the aum changes the next one is the value of securities in which aum is invested we will take another example to understand this an mutual mutual fund will experience an increase or decrease in aum when the market price of securities increases or decreases we know that the price of the securities changes by the time it can change in minutes or second as we have seen in the share market so when the market value of these securities increases or decreases then the size of the aum also increases or decreases The next one is the number of dividends paid by the companies in the institution's portfolio if reinvested and not distributed. The number of the dividends that a company paid that also determines the change in the AUM. If that is paid, then it will decrease the AUM. But if that money is again used to invest in the securities, then it will increase our AUM. There are other other factors also, like a fund with frequent inflows and outflows. If a fund is has a has very frequently inflows and outflows of the cash or of the securities, then that AUM will change very frequently. A fund that invests in volatile securities. So the volatile securities are those securities that that experiences. outflows and inflows very frequently so if it experiences outflows and inflows very in very frequently then the aum will also change very oftenly because then the money will increase as the as by the inflows and it will decrease due to outflows and the size of the aum will also decreases volatile means a security that changes very frequently and the security that changes frequently will also change the size of the aum The second last one is that AUM may also depend on whether the securities own a liquid or how often they are marked to market. So, if the securities are if the securities is not liquid, that means it will not change frequently, and AUM will also not change. Similarly, if the securities are not marked to market very often, then also the AUM will remain same. So these are the various reasons due to which AUM changes over time. The next thing that we are going to talk about is the importance of AUM concerning different fund types. So we know that the different fund types are equity funds, small cap funds, debt funds, and large cap funds. So how AUM is important for these similar for all these funds? The first thing is that the assets under management as a measure of success. Whether we are dealing with banks. asset managers insurance companies or other financial institutions the size of aum is the measure of company success that's because it is generally correlated with other kpis a larger aum is generally correlated with higher revenue if roa is constant or doesn't change significantly the size of aum is also a measure of prestige for the institution and its management as asset managers and banks will usually be ranked based on this metric 
Moreover, the management's compensation, compensation and bonus packages of, often depend on the size of AUM. So the importance of AUM concerning these different types of fund is this, that we know that the AUM is the measure of success. The size of AUM measures the success of a company or an institution. If AUM is larger, then the ROI is, then, the, then it is highly correlated with the higher revenue. Uh, if ROA is constant or doesn't change significantly. The size of AUM is also a measure of prestige for the company because generally on the basis of this only, the companies or the institutions are ranked. Even the asset manager, managers and banks will be usually ranked based on this metric only. And moreover, the bonus packages or the management's compensation will also depend upon the size of the AUM. That's why it's a very important, it is very important to keep the AUM high because it measures your success, it's measured, it's measured your the company reliability is also the base on which the institutions and the managers are ranked. So the last thing we will take is an example to understand that how AUM impacts large cap mutual funds. So here is an example that Mirai Asset Indian Opportunities and HDFC are two companies. They are large cap mutual funds company. Okay, so now the former has an AUM of just rupees 4738 crore, while the latter is rupees 14655 crore. So the AUM of HDFC is high. So the most investors may choose to invest in HDFC top 200 for this reason. But beyond below the table is given and in the table, the returns of the Mirai Asset Indian opportunities is high rather than HDFC. But still, because of high AUM, the investors will likely to choose to invest in HDFC. So this is how AUM impacts large cap mutual funds. Even it can impact, this is the only way that it impacts the every type of the, every type of the institutions. If AUM is high, then it attracts the customers because they think, because they assume that because of the AUM, it the, the size, the success of the company is high, even that the rank is also high of that company. It, it is the measure of the success of a company. So I hope I have given much knowledge about this topic. Thank you. Have a nice day.